The Charlotte Hornets are nearing the end of their head coaching vacancy search, and it appears that the last two finalists are Kenny Atkinson and Mike D'Antoni. Matt, I got a very simple question for you. Right. Which of those two should be the next head coach of the Charlotte Hornets? I think it has to be Mike D'Antoni. I think not only because he obviously has a lot of experience, but if you look at how the Charlotte Hornets are constructed from a roster standpoint, mm -hmm. They are built to be a team that Mike D'Antoni can really optimize and take to offensive levels that you only see when Mike D'Antoni is a part of the organization. You just saw the difference that there was when D'Antoni left the Nets uh, and how different the, the team was as far as their offense went uh, you know, last year to this year. You think about what he could do with LaMelo Ball and giving LaMelo Ball the full control that you would see from a Houston Rockets when D'Antoni was there and giving it to James Harden. That's what I would expect out of D'Antoni with Charlotte is LaMelo Ball getting the James Harden treatment. And I'm not going to lie. Does that, that lead, does that lead to wins, though? I, we, we've seen that system with Chris Paul, yeah. with Steve Nash, not maybe lead to regular season success for sure, lead to a playoff series win or two for sure but nothing ever really passed that. So is that something you really would want to be replicating? Yeah, I th of well, first of all, I think that it can be replicated, and you've seen some of that success moving forward, especially with the importance of 3 and D guys in these playoffs in particular. But overall, over the last few years, that D'Antoni system has continued to kind of show some success in the, in the sense of get a superstar, build around them with a lot of shooters and, and allow that superstar to then distribute the ball as, as well as you can. That was you know, what your Dallas Mavericks did with Reggie Bullock and Dorian Finney-Smith, and, and you saw some success there. Uh, I think that with LaMelo Ball, if you built, got D'Antoni and then you started to just add those type of players, the 3 and D guys, the offensive shooters, I think it shows a lot of promise, and I'd be very excited to see what it could ha what could happen. And I, I want to see what LaMelo Ball at his full potential in that sense, in that role, what it looks like. Because yeah. he's still super young. Oh, and, yeah. and, and obviously D'Antoni giving him the keys uh, to the franchise would be ex extremely exciting. So I think D'Antoni is a great choice. I think he should be the choice because uh, he obviously will take that offense to a whole nother level. And then it'll just be about who they bring in to be the defensive coordinator in that coaching staff. You've been campaigning for Mike D'Antoni for some time now. I, I, I hope been. the man gets I a job. Been. I mean, you've certainly been putting the work for him. So hopefully somebody listens to you. I don't think it's going to be the Charlotte Hornets. I, I'll be honest. I don't, neither of these guys, Kenny Atkinson or Mike D'Antoni would be at the top of my list in terms okay. of replacing, you know, my former head coach and James Borrego. But if I had to choose between these two, I would certainly go with Kenny Atkinson. You use the word young at least a few times during your opening soliloquy. Yeah. That's something that Mike D'Antoni isn't. That <laughs> man is in his 70s and with such a young roster, or such a young nucleus really at that, led by LaMelo Ball, Miles Bridges, hopefully if he resigns in free agency, um, PJ Washington, Terry Rozier, some of those other guys. This is a really young core that I think would benefit from a young or young-ish head coach such as Kenny Atkinson, who is in his mid 50s. Um, I think Kenny Atkinson should probably be the guy for this job at this point, hopefully Michael Jordan pulls the, the right trigger there and, and hiring him. Um, but this is somebody who, with the Brooklyn Nets, established that culture. That was an awful team when he took over. I think they went 20 and 62 yep. his first season there. And by the time he left, that was a very respectable franchise to the point where Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving wanted to play there. Yep. I mean, point blank period, oh, yeah. that, that's what it took. And obviously Kenny Atkinson before he, um, Actually, following his tenure in Brooklyn, he was an assistant with the Clippers under Ty Lue, who is one of the best head coaches in the NBA. Now, the year after that, currently, he's one of, he's an assistant under Steve Kerr, who is one of the best head coaches in the NBA, who yep. also happens to be playing for another NBA championship. So, Kenny Atkinson, I think, is the right answer here, the right guy for the job. I think him and LaMelo Ball, I think, would vibe with each other, and that's really what you need. You need your coach and your star player, your franchise player on the same page. Uh, again, I just think Mike D'Antoni, you've had your day, my guy. You, you've had superstars, you've had great teams, you've had great players, um, and you don't really have much to show for. And I think now at this point, it's time for this younger generation, this next generation uh, to give their, their, their chance. I think Mike D'Antoni certainly belongs on a bench somewhere as an assistant coach, but not as a head coach. And I think Kenny Atkinson, certainly the guy for this job here. Well, I mean, you said D'Antoni's had his chance. I think this might be his final chance. I think that this is a team that is set up for him to have that success. 
and to, you know, once again, try and push that boulder up the hill as far as having a star studded point guard or two guard that you can then build a, you know, high powered offense around. And you look at, again, I, I keep talking about the way the, the, the NBA is going, but I mean, look at the finals right now with Steph Curry, you know, and the shooting that you see from the Warriors. Yep. I think you could create something similar uh, and, and have it be again, like what you saw with the Rockets and James Harden. And then it just comes down to who can make the shots. Cause as much as you want to credit or, or blame D'Antoni for not being able to get, get that final win, make it past the, the conference finals. Mm-hmm. There was a lot that went into those Houston Rockets seasons that D'Antoni had no control over. You can't control James Harden missing a bunch of shots. You can't control Chris Paul getting hurt. As much as D'Antoni does have a lot of blame for what happened in Houston, he also is, you know, not he doesn't have control over who may, who's making the shots. Yeah, but he also has control over the team that he coaches attempting an NBA record three-point attempts in, in, you know, in a playoff game, you know, where they went, what was it? I don't know. It, at this point, everybody knows it was like three for 40-something. It was an all-time 17% in the Western Conference Finals game against Golden State. I mean, Mike D'Antoni certainly deserves some blame for that. That wasn't just James Harden just deciding to go rogue and chuck up threes. Uh, I mean, I'm sure, obviously, we know what James Harden is, but D'Antoni certainly deserves some No, you some, live and die by that, for that No doubt about it. But again, I, I think that you look at what the Hornets did this past season, their biggest issue was when they tried to go all, all in on offense, their defense was poor. Mm-hmm. With D'Antoni, they'd go full like to a whole other level of all in on offense. And I think that by adding a few defensive players and then going all in on that offense, I think that's how you optimize the Charlotte roster that is there presently. You mentioned the NBA Finals, and it's obviously a good place to look at because it's a copycat league. We're seeing two teams who are two of the best defenses in the NBA. Hiring an offensive-minded head coach to the extreme like Mike D'Antoni I don't think would be a good move. And also, too, the two head coaches currently in the NBA Finals, both younger guys, both players in the NBA. That's something that Kenny Atkinson is. I think Kenny Atkinson should be the guy for the Charlotte Hornets. But let us know in the comments who should be the Hornets' next head coach. Should it be Atkinson? Should it be D'Antoni or somebody else? Let us know something. But that's going to do it for us, though. Scott Proctor, my guy Matt Morris right here. We'll catch you on the next episode of Simple Question. Thanks for watching. And for more episodes of Simple Question, click here.